Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys some of the books that I've recently purchased. I have this really bad habit that I stopped for a really long time where every time I go to the shops, I buy a new book. And I'm gonna try and stop doing it because right behind me, I have a bookshelf full of books that I have not read. So I should probably stop doing that, but it doesn't look like I'm going to for the foreseeable future. And in the meantime, I'm gonna show you the ones that I have recently bought. So in the last two weeks, I have bought six books and the first one I bought was Midnight Sun. Now I talked about this in my last video, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it, but this is the Twilight book one, but from Edward's perspective. The other thing that I didn't mention in my last video, but I really like is that it's nice reading about Bella from someone else's perspective. You get a whole different feel for her. I feel like you know when someone's narrating a story and they're the main character they're obviously not going to have an unbiased opinion and they don't view themselves the way other people view them so the things that like edward sees in her she doesn't necessarily see in herself and you get a better more whole description the second book that i got is the space between by michelle andrews and zara mcdonald this is from the shameless podcast well it's by the girls who do the shameless podcast i actually pre-ordered this ages ago and I was really disappointed because I didn't get it in the mail until the book was already in store. And I was kind of like, why did I pre-order it then? Like, I had to pay extra for shipping. And I got it later than everyone else did because they could have just bought it in the shop. And I think I paid more money for it too, which I was a little bit like, oh god, I could have just got it from like Kmart or something. So the tagline for the book is Chaos Questions Magic, Welcome to Your Twenties. And Zoe Foster Blake said it's a witty and wholehearted roadmap for navigating your 20s. I'm really keen for this because I'm 23 and I never feel like I have any idea what I'm doing. So I'm really excited. Hopefully this will give me some insight as to what I'm supposed to be doing and where I'm supposed to be because I got no clue. Um, I do really like the Shameless podcast. I haven't listened to it for a little while actually because I feel like I'm just in a real like music listening phase at the moment so whenever I have like headphones in I'm listening to music I'm not really in the mood for a podcast but I used to listen to it like religiously especially during um isolation because I was going on so many walks and like I was like I need some sort of mental stimulation and I love the conversations that the girls have I feel like they're really educated and really in the know about a whole range of topics and it's nice listening to you know women talking about things that I find are important as well so like they talk about so many things not just like pop culture and all the fun stuff and like reality shows but they talk about you know like feminism and racism and classism and and everything kind of like a whole range of social issues and I'm really passionate about that so um I do love listening to the podcast shout out to anyone who listens to Shameless as well I'd love to know if any of you guys watch it too so I'm really excited for this book I can't wait to read it Okay, so the other two books are from a series. So it's The Golden Lily and The Indigo Spell by Rochelle Mead. I am so excited to get into these books. This is the spin-off series that I was talking about in my last video. So I recently went back and read one of my favourite series of all times. It was the first time I've read it as an adult. So the last time I read it was when I was in high school. I think I was like 13 or 12 when I started the first book. And then I think I was like 16 when I finished it. It's Vampire Academy for anyone who's familiar. It is, oh my God. I think I need to make a whole separate video about Vampire Academy books. In fact, I will. I'm going to make a whole separate video about those books because I cannot adequately explain my love for it right now because it's just too much. I love it. Anyway, this is the spin-off series for Vampire Academy and it follows one of the characters called Sydney and a few of the other main characters from the Vampire Academy. And um, I've read the first spin-off, it was called Bloodlines. Um, I had never read it before, so I'd had it, but I'd never read it as a teenager. I think because by the time Bloodline, Bloodlines came out and by the time I had Bloodlines, I... I'm very forgetful so I think I'd mostly like I, I wasn't really into like the Vampire Academy mood for it when I got it so I just left it there for ages knowing one day I would probably reread Blood uh reread Vampire Academy so then I could read Bloodlines um and so I flew through Bloodlines I think I like took me like two days to read it um and then as soon as I started Bloodlines I was like okay I'm gonna need the sequels in the Bloodlines series so that I'm not waiting 
unfortunately I still had to wait and that's when I started Midnight Sun but as soon as I finish Midnight Sun I'm getting into these books I'm so excited so this is the second and this is the third there are six in the whole spin-off series so there's I don't have the other three but I think what I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna buy them soon so that when I do finish Midnight Sun and then when I'm reading these they're already at home waiting for me so I'm not waiting for them in the mail again like I was with these ones um because I'm very forgetful so if I don't start the sequel straight away I forget I forget everything like I was talking to my friends at work about Bloodlines and I was like shit I can't even remember how it ended and I had to sit there for like a good five minutes and I was like what even happened I can't even really remember it so I do remember now like I just have to think a little bit harder about it but I have a really short attention span and I need to get onto the sequel straight away otherwise it's just out of my brain and I have to start something different so I'm hoping that um I can just get into these really soon because oh man it has been such a long time since I've read a series and just been obsessed so it's been really nice reading Vampire Academy and the Bloodlines books because it's just like when I'm reading it it's my whole world like nothing else matters I don't care where I am I don't care who's talking to me I'm like no like I need to read this this is all that matters to me right now um, and it feels really good to be reading books that make me feel that way again because I hate when you're reading a book and there's just no passion like you're just like, no. like you feel nothing towards it that is the worst when you're reading a book and you nothing it like and I'm the kind of person where if I'm reading a book I have to finish it like I just I can't leave a book half unread if that makes sense it just I don't know there's something about it and I'm like I'm gonna want to give it a review on Goodreads but how can I give it an like an adequate review or a rating if I haven't read the whole thing because there have been books where I've read the first half hated it and then the second half just blows my mind one of those books actually is we need to talk about Kevin I don't know if any of you have read that I've never seen the movie but I watched the book I hated the first 75% of it I can't actually even remember it that well because I read it like four years ago and classic me worst memory but I read it like four years ago it took me so long. I think I stopped for three months in between because I was like, this is the worst book. Like, I hate it. And then I was like, well, I can't leave it unread. So I finished it and then I loved it. I was like, oh my God, the ending just totally made up for it. I can't even remember what the ending was, but I remember feeling that way. So you never know. Like, that's why I just, I can't leave a book not finished because you just never know what's going to happen in the end. You never know if it's going to turn around, if characters are going to like redeem themselves. So... I'm like really all about finishing a book. If I start a book, I have to finish it. The fifth book that I bought, I actually bought on Thursday. So today's Sunday, a couple of days ago. It's called The Morbid. I kind of bought it on an impulse. I was in Dimmix and I saw that you got like extra Dimmix points. Man, I'm the worst. I'm such a sucker for those marketing techniques. Like they always work on me. But I saw that you get extra Dimmix points if you bought this book. And I was like, okay. So I picked it up and I was reading the back of it. It seems pretty heavy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit nervous about reading it because it does seem quite heavy and deals with a lot of things that I think are gonna be triggering for me personally, but I don't want that to stop me from reading a book that I think looks good. And I read the blurb and it's pretty dark, it's pretty heavy, um, but it sounds really good. I kind of don't wanna talk about it because then I'm gonna be thinking about my triggers, but, um, you know what I'm gonna let you look it up and then you can read the back of it <laughs> I think it looks really good and I love having new release books so again like the worst because marketing techniques always work on me as soon as a new book is out I'm like oh, I have to have it like I just and then I won't read it straight away so I probably won't read this for like two years I do that all the time it's the worst I know it's a bad habit but I love buying a new book and then when I want to read it I have it so what are you gonna do <laughs> so yeah i'm really excited for this one and oh, i was so happy when i bought it on thursday because even though i got the extra dimmings points i had like book money or whatever they call it to use on it so it was originally 30 dollars, and then i got it for 20 so you know what it like practically bought itself <laughs> the final book that i bought that i want to show you guys i bought yesterday so i went to the shops literally for one thing and i was like I'll just have a look at the book section too. Um, I This is also a new release. Again, sucker for a new release. It's called I Catch Killers. And it's an autobiography from this detective, Gary Jubilin, I think. Um, he was working on the William Tyrrell case and the Lint Cafe Siege case. And I 
I love autobiographies depending on the person. So usually I'm not going to read an autobiography unless it's from someone that I really love. Uh, like I've read autobiographies from like Holly Madison, she was a Playboy bunny and um, actually, I read both her autobiographies and I have Michelle Obama's uh, autobiography. So I usually don't buy them unless I'm really familiar with the person. This dude I've never even heard of before, but it sounds so good. And especially because it's Australian. So I feel like I'll understand the context a little bit better. And the cases that I'm familiar with as well, being you know in Australia, um, they're circulating the news constantly. So I'm really excited to read about it. Um, he, it sounds really intriguing and oh god i love a mystery so i am keen for this i can't wait hopefully i read it soon and not in like two years when everyone's already read it and is talking about it um but i can't wait to like leave a review on goodreads and see what else everyone else thinks about it i'm really keen i have to stop looking at the back because i get so okay, that is all the books that i have bought in the last two weeks i'm kind of hoping I don't keep doing this so I'm sorry if I don't post another video like this for a while but I'm trying to be good with my money and not just buy books whenever I feel like it but at the same time like that's the best like buying books whenever you feel like... okay no I'm not gonna do it anymore um but thank you so much for watching I hope you liked this video leave a comment if you've purchased a book recently I want more book recommendations I'm constantly on goodreads seeing what everyone else wants to read and then I'm wanting to read it so I'm always in the mood to hear about new books, so leave a comment if you're reading anything exciting. And thank you again so much for watching, guys. Please feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you here. And for everyone else that was subscribed previously, thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.